وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In our last class we were talking about from the madahir dunuwul himmah the forms in which low aspiration manifests we spoke about al inhimaku fi taraf and plunging into a luxury lifestyle over consumption of a lifestyle a luxury lifestyle and we mentioned that comes in many different forms from the forms that we mentioned was eating excessively and drinking excessively Inshallah, today the second form of al-inhimaku fi taraf is kathratun nawm, sleeping a lot. This is also another form of plunging into a, into a luxury lifestyle, where a person just sleeps a lot. Okay? And it is min madahiri taraf. It is. It's considered uh, to be a form of living uh, or setting yourself uh, into this luxurious, comfortable lifestyle. This goes against high aspiration. You find some people, they will sleep for so many hours. They will sleep day and night. I remember one time, a brother said to me, I miss Dhuhr, Asir, Maghrib, Isha, Fajr, because I was sleeping all of that. He missed a whole entire day, went. He missed Fajr, and then he said, I miss Dhuhr. And then I missed Asr, and then I missed Maghrib, and then I missed Isha, and then I also missed Fajr again the next day, because I was sleeping. You find some people like that. And sleeping excessively has harms. It has a what? It has a harm. I remember one time I went to a shop because my phone um, wasn't working, uh, and I had a problem with the battery. So it was those times when we had those old phones where you can change the battery and put another battery in. So I went to the shop, I said, look, can, can, can you give me a new battery? And then he said, but didn't you recently just come? And I said, yeah. He said, are you overcharging your phone? I said, yeah, keep it in the charger all night. He goes, don't do that. That's bad for, your, for the battery. When you want to charge it and it says full, take it out straight away and use it until it's about to finish, and then charge it. But don't overcharge. If it just stays in the charger, that's not good for your battery. And SubhanAllah, as we were talking, he said, I said, why would that be a problem? Like, it's, isn't it better that, he goes, it's like sleeping too much. And SubhanAllah, all, all my life, I've always connected the two. From that discussion that I had with him, reminds me of this point when I'm speaking about, which is kathratun nom, sleeping a lot. It's the same thing. It's destructive physically for you. And it's not good for you to oversleep. And without that, it is also madhya'atul lil waqti, you're wasting your life. I mentioned before that time is you, you are time. By sleeping too much, you are destroying your life. And your life, the most important thing is time. Time is ra'su mal al insan. It is the person's capital. You are in a business, you have uh, your capital, and you have your profit. If you lose your profit, as long as you don't lose the capital, you don't lose your, your main product, you're, you're good. That is your Rasul Mal. Rasul Mal. That is your Rasul Mal. Your time. Don't waste it. فَمَنْ أَطَالَ اللَّوْمْ فَمَنْ أَطَالَ النَّوْمْ Anyone who sleeps too much. Qatal al you kill time. And if you kill time, you kill yourself. Wahurima kathira. And the person will be prevented from a lot. Min masalihi diniyati wa dunyawiya. You'll be prevented from a lot of worldly benefit and hereafter benefits. Walidarika Amirul Mu'minina Umar ibn al Khattabi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, Man kathura nawmuhu 
لم يجد في عمره بركة. Anyone who sleeps a lot will not find in his life baraka. You won't find baraka in your life. Wallahi, try this, brothers. Wake up early. When you wake up early, go out, do something productive. Work, uh, read Quran. Go out, do something. Come home by dhuhr and do everything you needed to do for that day. You will feel so good. You'll see so much baraka in your time. You will see the barakah, يعني everything you finish it by dhuhr. Go home, you've done what was needed from you that day. ثُمَّ إِنَّ كَثْرَةَ النَّوْمِ تُورِثُ الْبَلَادَ Sleeping a lot, brothers, also makes you dim-witted. وَتَجُرُّ إِلَى الْكَسَلِ It also drags you to also be lazy, just like eating and drinking does too much. Too much sleeping does that to you. Like too much eating and drinking does as well. And it also brings about إِثَارُ الرَّاحَةِ وَالدَّعَةِ The person always is, given, is giving precedence, uh, precedence to sleeping, uh, relaxing a lot, just comfort all the time, excessively. إِنَّ النَّوْمَ يُعَطِّلُ قُوَّةَ الْعَقْلِ Brothers and sisters, sleeping a lot, it disables the person's aql. It disables it. And it makes the person وَيُلْحِقُ الْإِنسَانِ بِالْخُشُبِ الْمُسَنَّدَةِ Destroys the individual internally. It destroys you as a person. فَإِنَّ أُولِي الْحِكْمَةِ The people of wisdom. لَا يَخْطَعُونَ لِسُلْطَانِهِ He doesn't surrender to sleeping too much. إِلَّا حَيْثُ يَغْلِبُ He only sleeps when it overcomes him. That's when he surrenders to sleeping. And it only gives time, the time to sleeping that is necessary, is required. They don't, mean, they don't give it more than that. The third form in which al-inhimaku fi taraf, plunging into uh, luxury, comes about is al-mubalagha fi tajamuli, going overboard in beautification, beautifying yourself too much. Tajammul, brothers and sisters, uh, يعني beautifying yourself and looking presentable. في حد ذاتها, in its essence, in its essence, it's a good thing. It's Amrul Hassan. To look beautiful, to be presentable, it's a very good thing. في حد ذاتها, it's not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with, just the same way there's no, nothing wrong with sleeping. That's a good thing. Sleeping is good. Eating and drinking is good. But we're talking about overdoing it. Overdoing it. Allah loves those who are beautiful. فَاللَّهُ جَمِيلٌ يُحِبُّ الْجَمَالِ Allah is beautiful. He loves those who are beautiful. وَيُحِبُّ أَنْ يَرَى أَثَرُ نِعْمَتِي عَلَى عَبْدِي And Allah loves, Allah loves to see the blessings that He bestowed upon you. He loves to see on you. As Allah said in the Quran, يَا بَنِي آدَمَ خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ Or the children of Adam, take your beautification with you. And beautify yourself at every prayer that you pray. Islam has given importance to the outer appearance as much as it has given importance to the inner appearance. But the problem here, brothers, that we're talking about is, and that which is not allowed, is al to go overboard in beautifying yourself. And spending your life in your energy all on what? بحسن البزة والمظهر You spend um, your time, your energy on just how your face looks, how your body looks, how your skin is, how your neck, all of that. Islam is like, beautify yourself. Take care of your madhar. Make sure you look presentable. That's, that's good. But don't go overboard. Don't make this your shogul look shagil. All you do is, I'm, I'm, I'm beautifying this, I'm beautifying. That's not a person who has high aspiration. This will, what would it do to you? If you keep focusing on your beautification all the time, overdoing that, what will it do to you is that it will take away from you focusing on the most important thing, which is beautifying your nafs. And taking your nafs to the highest of levels. He'll busy you from that. 
فالعاقل من يسلك سبيل الاعتدال في شأنه كله. The smart person is always moderate in everything he does. He doesn't go overboard in anything. He always stays in that middle path. He stays in that path that was sanctioned and set by Allah and His Messenger. Especially when it comes to your clothing and your appearance. ولذلك عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله تعالى عنه he said وإياكم لبستين. عمر رضي الله عنه he said stay away from two type of clothing. لبسة مشهورة clothing where the person is extravagant in it overdoing it ولبسة محقورة and also stay away from clothing which is humility stay away from the two people will judge you based on your clothing yes they will the way you look people will judge you the عادة البشر so Umar is saying, stay, stay away from, okay, a, wearing clothing which is excessive. People will judge you based on that. They'll say something, they'll think of you of a particular thing. Stay away from it. Lubsu mashura, clothing that sticks you out from the rest of the people. That you dress it with extravagance. Don't do this just because what the people will say, but also... This is not what a Muslim should be doing. Also, Umar said, stay away from lubsatan mahqura, clothing where you'll be belittled and you'll be put down and people will push you to the side and humiliate you. Stay away from the two, Umar said. وَقَالَ بَعْضُ الْحُكَمَةِ Some of the wise people have said, and it's one of the wise statements of the wise ones, which is, إِلْبَسْ مِنَ الثِّيَابِ مَا لَا يَزْدَرِيكَ فِيهِ الْعُظَامَةِ Wear clothing. That the great people will not put you down. And you also will not be blamed for wearing these clothes by the wise ones. So don't wear clothing where the, the one who is high, rich, the royalties will not belittle you. Ah, this guy is... Also don't wear clothing where the wise ones will not blame you for it and say, what is he doing? He's extravagant in what he's wearing. Because the wise people, they don't look at clothing like that. Be in the middle, basically. That you don't get belittled by the, the top people and the lower people, they don't feel that you're being extravagant. Walidharik a poet, he said, When you eat, Eat what you can. What you want, eat it. But with moderate moderation. And make from your clothing that which the people like, which both parties like. Decent clothing. The, the one who is low will not blame you for wearing that clothes. And the one that's high will not belittle you. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, he said, Kul ma shi'ta, eat what you want. Walbas ma shi'ta, ما أخطأك شيئان عبد الله بن عباس he said eat what you want wear what you want but he said ما أخطأك شيئان two things avoid صرف ومخيلة stay away from going overboard and exaggerating and stay away from arrogance those two are the things you need to avoid the, 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 the way you're going to beautify yourself, sister and brother, don't go overboard by doing it. And don't also become ex يعني, arrogant. Some people, they're arrogant because of the clothing they wear and the car they drive. Al Imam al Mawardi, rahimahullah, he said, Wa'alam anna al Muru'ata an yakuna al Insanu mu'tadil al Hali fi Muraati li basihi min gayri ikthaarin au ittirahin. Fa inna ittiraha muraatiha. وَتَرْكَ مَا تَفَقُّدِهَا مَهَانَةٌ وَذِلَّةٌ وَكَثْرَةُ مُرَاعَاتِهَا وَصَرْفُ الْهِمَّةِ إِلَى الْعِنَايَةِ لَهَا دَنَاءٌ وَنَقْصٌ And Imam al-Mawardi رحمه الله he said Know my beloved brothers and sisters أن المروءة that morality and dignity is that a person is mu'tadil al-hal, he's in the middle, moderate. Fi mura'ati libasi, when it comes to observing your clothing. Min ghayri ikthalin aw itrahin. 
whether it be uh, going overboard in doing it or going uh, yeah, an extreme exaggeration or extreme negligence. And be in the middle of that. He said, فَإِنَّ verily اِطِّرَاحَ مُرَاعَاتِهَا يعني ignoring it, uh, uh, your clothing, and not giving importance to it. وَتَرْكَ and leaving off um, مَا تَفَقُّدِهَا مَهَانَةٌ وَذِلَّةٌ You leave off taking real care of your appearance and the way that you look. So you fall into extreme negligence. This will bring about humiliation for you. وَكَثْرَةُ مُرَاعَاتِهَا وَصَرْفِ الْهِمَّةِ إِلَى الْعِلَايَةِ لَهَا دَنَاءٌ وَنَقْصٌ And also going overboard and making your aspiration, the way you look, the way you dressed, is my thobe, this crisp, this and that. This is also a person who will lose uh, honor and reputation and any respect by those who are smart and clever because it goes against ulul himma and that powerful statement of al-imam al-wawardi summarizes this point i'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala anything which i have said that was wrong or incorrect is for me and shaitan and allah and his messenger are both free from it subhanak allahumma bihamdi ashhadu la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu how can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple, like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.